Beginning in the latter half of the 15th century, classical scholarship was revived. This led to the search for ancient texts and alchemical processes that would increase the knowledge of the time. This rebirth set the stage for observations of the sky that would permanently change the way the heavens were perceived. Johann Kepler, who discovered that the ratio of consecutive Fibonacci numbers converged to the golden proportion phi, also was the first astronomer to suggest that planetary orbits were elliptical. In studying these orbits and the math behind them, he recognized the mathematical proportions of the solar system's planetary cycles and proposed that the distance relationships between the six known planets of the times be described in terms of the five platonic solids. In his scheme, one platonic solid would fit between each pair of planetary spheres. The most critical work of the period came in 1543 when Nicholas Copernicus wrote De Revolutionibus. It was a work that placed the sun at the center of the solar system and the planets in a semi-correct orbital order around it. His work was an attempt to revise earlier writings of Ptolemy who placed the earth in the center of the universe with all the other bodies circling around it. However, it was the observations of Galileo Galilei that actually proved Copernicus's heliocentric model of the solar system. Observing the heavens through a small telescope, Galileo saw that Venus could only exhibit phases if it orbited the sun and not the earth. He also proved with observations of Jupiter's moons that bodies did, in fact, orbit things other than the earth, something that was in complete opposition to the popular thought of the time and that got him placed under permanent house arrest by the church for heresy.